This is James from IDX, guys, and today I just wanted to show you a site that we've recently completed that I just think is awesome. It's one of my favorite sites that we've done. I know these videos are only supposed to be like a couple of minutes. This one's probably going to be a little bit longer. If you need to cut out sometime, go ahead, but there's just a lot of cool tools that we've built into the site. So this is the home page. Uh, you can see we have this nice slider here at the top that showcases their listings. These guys have a lot of nice listings. Then as we scroll down the page, um, we do an agent highlight here. This is randomly shows a different agent every time you load the page. And it has their little uh, slogan. There's a place here where you can click through and look at all the agents. Um, we've got some of their featured listings here. And we've, we've set it up so that you can search by, by neighborhoods. And, and then as you get into these neighborhoods, you can still scroll uh, scroll through these properties and there's some nice effects and things there. Um, it's got the video, got the uh, the different social media feeds here. So they've got a couple different Facebook accounts and a Twitter account. You can see that these, these bring up different information. Um, let's see here what, what we have. When you <clears throat> click through one of these properties on the front page, uh, we have a, a place set up here so it loads up all the the details and information for this property. And then if you want more details, we, you could add more here on this page. But there's also a more details and photos uh, link here that will take us to the, uh, to the IDX broker uh, link here. So this property probably is, is sold or something like that, so it's not available anymore. One of the things that I think is really awesome is when you click through here to um, our agents, we have a nice agent uh, directory here. It goes through, these folks have a couple hundred agents. There's uh, agent search here. We can do it by first or last name. We can find the office that they're working in. Even some of them have different languages that they're associated with. And you can click through here to, you know, go down to a different uh, agent. There's some nice effects, I think, that are built in here. We know Dulcie Crawford from some other work that we've done for her. So we'll use her as an example. If we click through Dulcie Crawford, and it would work the same if we clicked on her picture or her name, then it's going to take us to her page, and we'll be able to pull up some of her uh, listings and some of her additional information here. So click through the Dulcie page and it gives her just like a super page that she can showcase. You can click down here to see her listings, uh, has some information about her. And uh, these are her listings. These are pulled from IDX Broker. As you can see, you can click through here it'll take you to the IDX broker uh, page. So uh, these these pages, what's neat is that you could actually do something like dulcicrawford.com and point it here, and then all your agents have their own page instantly. And that can be a great recruiting tool for an office. Um, and it's a great feature for an agent, too, to have a nice page. Another thing that I like about uh, these when you do the the searches here there's a featured agent that goes in here and this randomly pulls an agent from your office and puts them here in these in these corners unless you are showing properties from your office so uh, when we show listings from the office for example um, like we do this search here uh, 99 Hawkridge, this is Gavin Ernstone's listing, so it shows his picture next to it. So we pull that data, and you can even see here in the IDX information, it's telling us that this is a, a Gavin Ernstone listing. So as we click through some of these other ones, here's John Gafford, he's one of the owners here. Uh, since this is his listing at 1704 Authentic, it's putting his picture and his contact information here so people can quickly get that. And again, it's a great uh, tool for your agents. Another one that I just clicked through, uh, Brad Whiting's listing over here on Via Romini Street. Again, as you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see that this listing is courtesy of uh, 
of him. Uh, this property is uh, Murray, Mary Renee Haas's of Bet on Vegas Realty listing. So we get our random agent here in the picture uh, on the sidebar. So I think that's a that's a great tool. We've also stylized these uh, these search results quite a bit. These are just ID, this is IDX Broker, and we've done some styling and things to these search results to just make them look super sharp. One of the things I want to show you is on this page, it's showing properties, um, basically 200,000. looks like they're all 200,000. But we have this uh, cool search tool we put in the sidebar. So it's got for sale. You can click over here for rent. And uh, once we switched it to rent, then it removed that so we can do different uh, pricing information. But if you come to sales and you say, okay, I want 500,000 to... Um, say 10 million, then it shows me that there's 500 search results, which means there's probably way more than that. But if I back that back down and say, you know what, I just want to see between 500 and 700, then it's going to update the search results. Again, there's still a lot of those. There's still over 500. So let me dial that in a little bit and say, okay, I want um, four bedrooms or more. And there's still a bunch of those. And let's put in here uh, four baths. There we go. So it's starting to limit that down. You can see it now it's got us down to 400 search results. Um, you know, I just don't know these different areas, so I might be making a big mistake here. But let's just say um, we want, you know, Henderson area 605. So now we're only getting 10 results returned to us. That's It limits it down. So as we start putting this these different criteria into the site search tool, it automatically updates all that information. Then you can reset the search or save the search. And then, of course, there's property types and all these things. So to me, the, the awesome deals with Simply Vegas, again, it's got great design, it's mobile responsive, and it's got some awesome IDX tools. My favorite IDX tools, this, this agent, random agent, that lines up too with the featured properties, that's got to be my favorite one. And the next one, of course, is a search tool. This is kind of a cool uh, auto-updating search tool, and so it's it's pretty awesome, and it, it works good. So that's simplyvegasrealestate.com. Uh, Another thing I really liked about this one, too, of course, was our agents' uh, pages, and that, that has all that integration for, for all the different agents in there. Um, so... This is just this is just like I say. This has got to be one of my favorites, just because we built a lot of cool tools into it. So that's uh, simplyvegasrealestate.com. Check it out.